So uh, the plan today will be to do some instructive rapid chess, have a more chill stream. Uh, my rapid rating currently is, I mean, it's not too far away from my peak. It's 2675, 14 points away from my peak. Let's see my ranking. Oh, actually, I'm not on the ranking list because I haven't played enough rapid recently. So if we go here, leaderboard, rapid, um, I mean, I would be like top, top 30. So I'll hop into the pool. Oh, playing Soltai. Okay, good luck to Soltai. Long time viewer, candidate master. Um, I don't know Soltai's repertoire, but oh, we'll just play chess. We have a, uh, what do we call this? Rosalimo. I was looking at the theory of this uh, the other day. Sometime during Title Tuesday. D3 is not most popular. Uh, like Usually white will play C3 and go for D4. But I guess this is playable. I think I'll just stick with simple moves. I mean, D5 maybe eventually. Also B5. Thank you, Rap Bandit. Alan Spoon, thanks for subbing. I mean, white maybe is preparing d4. So what to do? Yeah, maybe I should have started with d5. Not sure. There, there. There's an interesting line. It's taking me a moment to actually process. I'm going to play d5. Threatening d4. And I mean, this could get spicy pretty quickly. Depending what white does. Yeah, so there's bishop g4 here. Takes d4. Takes and then takes. I'll play bishop g4. A lot of the tension with the center. Okay, now can I take? Take and then take. I mean, the pawn might have to take now. Almost at two years. Where is that blindfold? Okay. Uh, I actually don't know what happened to it. It used to be on my desk, but. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it disappeared. I think I, I actually like I traveled with it because I use it as a sleep mask sometimes. I'm not sure I, where I put it. Hey, it's Chess Dogs. Appreciate the raid. Yeah, if you're just joining, this is my first game of the stream. Uh, it's a good looking position, but I'm not up any material. If I take, 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 take. I could castle and just leave the tension. White's not really threatening to take. There's this move. Bishop f6. It kind of looks interesting, actually. And it seems like I'm abandoning the c-pawn. Which I sort of am, but if white takes, I have d4 with a fork. And I have three attackers. Um, maybe white will play rook e1. I and mean, this is the one downside of having not castled. King is on the open e file. I mean, rook e1, probably I castle. I mean, it's nice having a pawn structure that's intact compared to white structure. down a little bit of the time, but it's still early in the game. So yeah, not the easiest position for white. 92. Yeah, 92 makes sense to reinforce. And now I could take... Kind of leaning towards just casting here. But then... 
And there's c4, but then c3, and my bishop's not great. Take, 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 castle. Maybe I just do trade on d4. Like, I don't really want to simplify that much, but I also don't want to lose the c pawn. Okay, let's go for this. Yeah, I mean, it's possible that very soon all the minor pieces will come off the board. I could play castling. Mm. I'm being indecisive here. There, there. Maybe I should castle. Leave the tension between the knights. C3 makes sense. Okay, I'll play queen d7. Comes with tempo. Hits h3 pawn. I do have bishop e5. Hi, Eric. Hello. Take. Let's play knight e5. I mean, f3 could be a target. Knight c4 is on tap. White does have the half open g file. But anytime I feel like I could play g6. Okay, let's pressure the c file. Maybe I should have played queen c7 there. A small missed opportunity. Yeah, I should have taken a little bit more time. All right, so knight g6. Hmm. Just queen d6. So aligning with the king. If this, maybe this. That could get messy, actually. Okay, we see pawn f4. So knight g6. Fifty-four months and still enjoying the content, Eric. Hey, it's AKD. Happy fifty-four. A tier three for fifty-four months. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you, nice Gary, who said hi earlier. Welcome back to G Spates. Oh no, it's so late. Yeah, it's actually a decently normal time for at least US Central time. Just a heads up, your opponent is in chat listening to your thoughts. Oh. Maybe need to do oh no, my queen. What to do? I don't think I've said anything too revealing thus far. Um, kind of like this move. Although I have to be careful of White's ideas. If I take... Actually, this looks a little bit more attractive. Yeah, even if my opponent was like listening to the fact that I want to take, there's, there's not much they can do about it. So bishop takes, I take there. Pawn takes, the uh, structure is looking very good for black. I could play f5. Um, it's maybe not necessary, but... Let's do it. I do have to watch my time, though. I'm getting a little bit low. Hmm. 
So I'm avoiding the trade of rooks. Some interesting idea. Okay, white wants to push the pawn. Hmm. I want to lift the rook. Yeah, Bishop is dreaming of jumping over. For a moment, I was thinking I could like threaten to take and then take and then this, but then, yeah, there's a, a pin on the G file. Where is the spell chess moves, lol? Yeah, it's been a long time since I played spell chess. Okay, so now this pawn is probably the main target. Can defend, attack. Hmm. Still not super simple. I'm down about two minutes. Thank you, Bananders. Another first time prime. Okay, the knight is kind of rotating around. Wants to come here and then use the light squares. The pawn's attacked. There, there. Really passive move. But what else to do? I never know what to say in these messages. Oh, that's okay. That's one thing to say. Thank you, Bookopolis. Yeah, position's good, but I really can't get too comfortable. Especially with the time situation, there's no increment. Right now has a pawn on h6. I'm trying to play positionally. Maybe I should have gone to G4 there. Mm. Yeah, kind of passive. I mean, now, okay, maybe I'll just take and take. Mm.
Yeah, it's getting kind of messy. And now I'm only down about a minute. I think it's still controlled though. You can take here. If your takes, takes, I'll take on E3. Not sure though. Okay, that's a good sign. Gradual progress. I'm up two pawns. I have nice active rook. Um, there, there. Play King G7 first. And bring the rook around. Pressure the e-pawn. Some idea of queen here. There we go. Okay, plenty of time. How do I checkmate with my king? Okay. King D2 checkmate. Great chess. Uh, had to get at least one Rosen trophy there. Thank you, Atama Pawn. Okay. Just under five seconds to spare. It was a good fight. Um... Yeah, White got into some trouble out of this opening. I'm actually not sure what White's supposed to do after Bishop G4. Because I'm threatening to take and take. Your awesome smile. No, thank you, Zolanoth X. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, we can analyze a little bit. So let's just see what uh, the engine says. Yeah, D4, it's like, it's a thematic break, but White's just falling under a lot of pressure. Hello, less than three. Hello to Benped.
Yeah, so the main line, like, at least in the Russell Emo is, um, oh, I guess it's Rookie 1. Rookie 1, C3, or D4 are far more common. Oh, wow. 13 inaccuracies. <laughs> I made 6 inaccuracies. 2 mistakes. What was my mistake? Ah, that's a nice move. I had the chance to take on h4. Like I played rook f6 to try and set this up, but I didn't quite realize I can just do this right away. And if takes on this, and the queen slash king can't really hide. Because whatever moves to the g file, I'll still play rook h6. Like if king g2, rook h6, and then, okay, queen g3, I pin. And then likewise, if queen g3 first, I check and then pin again. And then my other mistake was, oh, it was much later. Ah, yeah, I probably should have kept queens on the board. Oh, maybe I should have gone for this. Because if king e2, there's a nice little trick takes on e3 to win the queen. But if king f1, how is this working? Check. King f2, check. Stockfish is weird where it just repeats. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. Because when this move is played, we're threatening this. I think king g2. Anyway, yeah, it took a lot of work towards the end, too. And if white just keeps the king on g3, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And the engine doesn't seem sure either. It's just like shuffling around. I can't drive. Walk the king here. Hey, got anyone? Anyone? Yeah, that's. Probably some lyrics that I'm not uh, familiar with. Welcome back, Renz and Chess. So, um, what to do now? Should I play like a five minute game or a three minute game? Maybe three plus two? Maybe mix up the time control a little bit. Of course, I'm playing Soul Tie again. <laughs> okay, good luck. Revenge is seeked but will it happen what opening to play i don't know what to play d4 bishop f4 stick with a london i'd love to see a part two to your lee chess study set up i struggle knowing how to properly utilize it once i set up a bunch of openings in there Ah, I can maybe try and... Sniping in chat and watching stream. Oh yeah, oh yes, Sian Soltai is in chat, okay. Good to know, good to know. I think this is already like preferable for white. Because it's hard for black to actually achieve 94 now. And the question is how crazy do I want to be, like G4? Maybe I'll start with h4. Okay, I'm being a little bit crazy. It's a blitz game, so why not? g5 on tap. I go for g5. Might be some issue. There, there. There's some crazy lines, though. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what's happening here. We'll see what black plays. Calculation was g6. Could also take... There, there, there. Just 
definitely take time here. Could maybe just take this way. Not the most exciting move. It's one of these positions that the engine probably would crunch through and find a, a strong reply. I really wanted to play g6, but didn't quite see it. Okay. Still smelling tactics. Bishop, maybe just bishop g3. Like safe and solid. Thank you, Dan. The first time, Brian. Okay, so the g-file is half open. I might as well control it. Um, takes. And there's this move. There, there. This could be very forcing. So I'm threatening to take with check, unleashing the tension between the bishops. If here, I think the line is takes and then takes and then check. Not so sure though, actually. I think I have to take once. Take check. That's your sixth round Fujira game, London with H4. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually playing a very similar approach to the video I posted earlier today. I mean, am I trapping the rook? I might be. H5. Here and then here. You keep telling your opponent your plans. Yeah, but they can't stop my plans. I mean, rook g5, knight out of three. Plans are, um, I mean, it's not like poker where, oh, wait a minute, Did I mess up. Oh no, my pawn. Someone call an ambulance. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna, um, if here it's a pork and if here it's a fork. Yeah, the reverse stream snipe. It's still tricky, though. Um, anything better? No, I might as well take. And then take here. Yeah, it's probably more tricky for black. If queen f7, I take and fork. Yeah, chess is a game of complete information. So. Now my opponent has information that I want to fork on g6. The queen e8 a good move. Pinning the knight. Mm, probably just castle here. There, there. Okay, I'll keep consuming pawns. Rook and two pawns for a bishop. Oops. 
Okay, I have queen e2, thankfully. I still have to be really careful. Oh, Bishop G8's coming. Ah, I'm getting skewered. I actually got skewered. Yeah, this is not so simple anymore. What is this material imbalance? Okay, so I'm going to put the king here and then push. Knight's very good at blocking checks. A rook as well. It's a cool position. Covering g6. Okay. <laughs> that was a funny end to the game. When I said do, I'm allowing bishop g8? Where was it? It was in this position. Bishop g8 walks into the fork. That's why black played queen e8. And then bishop g8, it's... Uh, yeah, it's like a good practical try. Yeah, I probably had to go for this. Okay, what to do? I want to check one position with engine. Thank you, grandfather Brooks. Happy nine months. Just out of the opening. It was this position after f6. Because there are a lot of like rich possibilities. Like I could take on c6, I could play g6. I think I played the safest move. Oh, I played the best move. Okay. Yeah, because this would trap the knight, but then it's just a bad trade for white. Takes king h8. Yeah, maybe there were improvements somewhere earlier or somewhere later. Oh, did drawback chess get an update? I haven't played for a couple days, so um, I'm not aware. Sultai asking, would you be mad if I got paired with you again? I'd be furious. I would just quit playing on Lee Chess. Maybe play on like a different site. If only there were a different site to play chess. Yeah, so this was actually like pretty clean overall. Like I trapped the rook, and then this tactic was nice. I guess I saved all the messiness for later in the game. Oh, there was a point where I gave away my whole advantage. <laughs> So the issue is I don't know where, where my blindfold is. I don't think I could fare that well if I was playing blindfolded. I'm going to enjoy my vision for this stream. 
Okay, so let's go forward. Let's see where Black had the chance. So here... Oh, I missed d5. But d5 loses... I guess it trades knights. I had five seconds left here. So I took the knight. Oh, wow. That's counterintuitive. So Black took the pawn, but the best move is king g8. And if I take on c4, there's queen takes a4. And then knight d2? Yeah, it's crazy position. White's still probably like pressing, but uh, it's... yeah, black has good practical chances. Okay, what to do? Someone was asking about like using Lee Chess studies earlier, but I think it was more of a broad question. Sometimes, if there's more specific questions, I can try and provide quick answers. Enemy pawns equal cover. Yeah, this is very typical where like there's a opponent pawn that's kind of providing shelter for the king. Okay, let's do a poll. Because it is slow to like get games and slower time controls. So uh question is what to do. I could switch to drawback chess. Uh duck chess. Okay, I'll include duck chess on the poll. I love your content. It made me want to play chess again. Thanks for everything less than three. Oh, thank you. Oh, blindfold chess can be included too. Then I'll actually have to find the blindfold. I could do bullet too. Okay. Hey, it's Ben and Karen. You're just in time. I'm about to run a poll. Also, shout out to Ben and Karen. Hope you guys had a, a good stream. So... These are the options. Chat will determine my fate. Uh, I'm running a poll. And I'm going to take a small break. And I'll be back momentarily. So I'll just... Wow. The viewers are speaking. At least with, uh, with voting. So playonchess.com is winning the poll. I guess I could compromise and play blindfold duck bullet chess on chess.com. And blindfold would be the drawback. That might be hard to do though. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll play I'll play on chess.com and then then I'll do some drawback chess. How about that? I'll try and raise my chess.com rating. So this will take a moment to switch over. It'd be funny if I play CM Solta again on chess.com. Okay. Here we go. I'll still try and keep it somewhat chill. Oh, three Alloway asking, there's a line you once played in Stafford where you'd win one of the rooks. Where you'd win one of the rooks. Can I please show it? There's a line where you win both of the rooks. <laughs> uh, I think I know what line you might be referring to. I can quickly show it. I'll delay my transition to chess.com. Um, it's one of these Stafford Gambit tricks that I learned, or I discovered, maybe after a couple of years of playing the Stafford. And it happens after d3, bishop c5, bishop e3. I've had this position almost 60 times with the black pieces. And the line goes takes, takes, knight g4. And then most people will defend the pawn with queen f3. And then black will play queen g5, attacking the pawn. And then most people will play king d2, because it's the only obvious way to save the pawn uh queen f4 is the best move here which we can kind of see based on the, the win percentage uh, but after king d2 there's a really really nice move and yeah there was a point in time where i i didn't know the the best move but the best move is knight takes h2 
with the idea that after rook takes h2, which all my opponents have played, uh, this is actually a blunder because queen e5, and black is guaranteed to win one of the rooks. That's a nice double attack. Most people will save this rook, and then this rook gets trapped. So hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, I don't have tea this stream. I have water, ice water. I had a lot of tea earlier today. I've never had this over the board, as far as I can remember. Anyway, uh, let's let's switch over to chess.com and let me try and find some strong competition. Can you show the line where you don't play on chess.com and play drawback instead? Ha ha ha. I'll show it in maybe uh, maybe half hour from now. Stay tuned. Okay, let's see how long it takes to get a game here. <laughs> what to do? Hey, okay. So my goal is to get to a rating of 2,700. We have, what do we call this opening? A Scandinavian? I'm, this is not the Scandinavian defense. Maybe it's transposed though. It should be six. Yeah, it's been a while since I've looked at this. I want to play knight c5 eventually. Maybe this. Some idea of h4 to target the knight. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. This pawn's also kind of vulnerable. So I defend the pawn, prevent knight g6. Now I might be threatening g5, knight f5, h4 to trap this knight. Ah, but there's knight e2. Okay, I'm moving a lot of pawns early this game. Got the bishop hair. And do I want to throw in h4? Maybe not? Uh, let's do it. Okay, my pawns resemble v for victory, which has not yet been achieved. It's looking good though. Got the two bishops. Yeah, I might be focusing more on the queen side coming up. And there's only one fully open file. Go for a5. Knight a1. I can't really take on a2 as much as I want to. Is white going to play b3? So if knight c2, then I take on a2. I think. b3, wow. I mean, it's looking pretty good. We need to... I'm hitting this pawn. Now I have this move. So if takes, takes. I'm just dominating the c-file. Okay, that's probably a smart move from white. I mean, I'll win the exchange. Uh, offer the trade. Yeah, this is not the best bishop. So 
we'll trade. Try and open the C file again. Oh, that's a good move. Uh, okay, let's take... Yeah, my pawn's pinned on the D file. Maybe this. I have queen C6 too. Let's play this first. I feel like my pieces are asking to get fort. I think this is... There's some calculation. Queen e4, f5, take, take. Queen c1, king h2, queen f4, take, take. Is it pawn ending winning though? I don't have time to calculate. I think it is, because I'm threatening d3. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, the efficient way to win this is to basically stalemate the king. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Hey. I gained eight points for that. 2697. Oh, V also stands for other words. Vivacious, vicious, etc. Hey, it's Gari. What's up, Gari? Shout out to Gari. Hope you had a good stream. I feel like these are weird hours for Gari to be streaming. <laughs> Were you streaming on YouTube too? I was watching Gary's YouTube live stream the other day, his first YouTube live stream. Ah, commentary for the, was it North American Corporate Chess League, I believe? Very nice. Yeah, if you're just joining, I'm trying to raise my rating beyond 2700. So I just played my first game on chess.com of the stream. The stream did start on the chess, but we've transitioned. I'm actually wondering if bishop a4 here. Ah, so the engine, the engine says a lot of things are possible. A c5 is kind of nice, actually. So if here, there's c4, if d3, there's queen here. Oh, thank you, Xerxes. I appreciate that. Hey, it's Hannah. What's up, Hannah? Shout out to Hannah Says. So I think I'll keep playing. Um, I mean, this might just take one more game. Let's see. Playing Pig Daddy, high rating. We have an Alapin. Hmm. Yeah, usually the bishop's on e3 in this line. I'm not sure if I can exploit this.
and just take and I mean I don't really want to trade queens but I guess I'll I'll go for it maybe five I have bishop b8 and now the plan is to not castle but uh delayed bond cloud probably rook it's maybe slightly unpleasant rook b8 a6 first I have to stop knight f5 Yeah, this is actually very unpleasant. Okay, I'll try and cope with the situation. I'm down almost a minute already. Uh, rook b8. Yeah, what to do? Move back? No. E5. That's a very bad position. Try this. I'm down over a minute. I might end up sacking the pawn. Yeah, just to get in ninety five. Maybe there's some tricks with no, never mind. At least I can breathe a, a little bit easier here with the pieces. I'm down upon still an uphill battle. F4 is maybe coming. Good move. What to do? I hear maybe rookie eight. There goes another pawn. Yeah, position's not great, time is even worse. Still trying to fight. I'm just getting made it of this move.
He was my king. What to do? Ah, uh, almost held on there. Almost. Yeah, I should have spotted a vision of d6 to c7 a little bit sooner. Come on, all my kingside pawns disintegrated. But then, okay, I won the h pawn. And this ending objectively, objectively is winning for white. I think. Yeah, Pig Daddy is strong. Okay, so let's move on. Oh, playing this opponent again. So we have, what do I want to play? Play this, d5, okay. Let's play this one. I don't know the theory here. I just know knight c3 can be tricky sometimes. Hmm. Okay, what to do? If I take... Maybe I'll play knight c3 here. If it takes, I can take with queen. Wow, e6. That's a cool move. If I take either way... Maybe I play d6. It's a funny response. Ensure the bishop's not coming out soon. Oh, wait a minute. I should have taken. I'm just down the pawn now. Okay, we'll treat this as a gambit. Oops. Okay, queen e2, castling. That's a good move. Let's take. So I have knights against bishops. I might as well go for this. It's getting a little bit messy. Five is coming. Yeah, generally the bishop pair is objectively just better, more preferable. But sometimes in like fast time controls, knights can be a bit trickier. We'll see how tricky my knights can be. I think I'd like to play d4 at some point. I probably don't want to open things up too much. Bishop f5 is coming. Rook d1 first. I'm really suffering here. I'm trying to get my king to somewhere reasonable so my other rook can come in. If I play d4, take, take.
holding on by a thread. Interesting. Okay, a dirty flag. I survived long enough to win on time there. Not my proudest game. I gained eight points though. Uh, I should at least take away a lesson from the opening. And the line I've looked at before is knight d4 or knight d5 queen d4. With knight b8, uh, let's learn something. Oh, this is playable for black. Take c6. Best move, bishop c4. So what happens after takes? Ah, take with queen. Okay. That's interesting. Like, very close to equalizing for black. Yeah, e5 is maybe the most principled approach. Okay. Please show us a chess.com estimate elo. Oh, if I click game review, it'll estimate my elo. Maybe. Okay, my accuracy was <laughs> below 80. Elo is probably below my current elo. Yeah. I mean, this is this is why life is not fair. My opponent played at a 2700 level, but uh, yeah, lost the game. I was a little bit quicker there. Okay. Oh, same opponent. Okay, so let's repeat the opening we played previously. I did check it briefly earlier. Bishop b5. Oh, this time c3 first. So I think I just play c5. Yeah, this move. Then, hmm. Okay, let's play f6. I mean, it looks nice. I'll get the V-shaped pawns again. V for Vindication. 
B4 is actually kind of annoying. Takes. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure here. Maybe I should take on C3. Oh no, my V-shaped pawns. D4 might be coming. I'm probably in trouble again. Opponent is seeking revenge for the previous game. A bishop. Where does my bishop want to go? Yeah, this is not looking good. I take... Play a6. I'm already down a lot of time. Queen d6, wow. That's a good move. There. King f7, take, take. Have to play this. That's not good, though. And this. So if takes, I take with bishop. I'd have to take with bishop. Ninety five, I take. Ninety five might just be winning. Ay, ay, ay. I take bishop takes. Actually, let's try this. Oh, no, I'm just losing. Ah, what to do? Is it this and then bishop e6. So I have to play this. Oh, no, I'm getting shish kebabbed. Maybe I have this move. It's not going to help, though. Ah, what to do? Okay, this is probably just resignable. But you never know. Okay, I resigned. Good game. Yeah, that did not go so well. So we had a similar opening. C5. Where did I go wrong? There's a lot of like playable moves. F6 is fine. D3, H5. Okay. Yeah, why well, actually got like a reasonable structure here with b4. Yeah, after b4, black is already worse. Okay. Uh, so if I play this line next time, what do I do? h5 immediately? And if takes... Oh, queen takes is kind of cool. But then knight f3? Queen d6. Okay, I could envision playing this. Okay. New game. Oh, we play again. Okay, let's play d4 this time. Knight a6, of course. c6. So I'm just playing a normal London. 
I mean, I'll go for e4, why not? Uh, interesting. So knight of four is an idea. It's very creative play. I think I'll just castle. Really gotta manage time better this game. Solid position. Oh, we're around the same rating now. So plus eight for a win, minus eight for a loss, zero points for a draw. Gaining some space. Unpinning the knight. Some idea to put the rook back on h1. Hmm. having nightmares from the previous game or flashbacks from the previous game I should say all this pawn tension I mean bishop e4 it does allow d5 and then I retreat interesting position we both still have all A pawns. I have an interesting set of double F pawns. B5 is probably a good move. If I take... Queen takes rook B1. Pressure on A file now. I don't really want to draw play on. That's a good move. I'm probably worse here. Some G4 idea though.
Oops. What should I do? That's not good. That's not stalemate. Okay. Ah, what to do? Oh no, my reading. Yeah, I probably should have repeated there. I felt optimistic, but the problem was white doesn't have like a super clear plan. Engine reverse black. Like very interesting position though. At some point, I wanted to play uh, in G4, G5, but it still doesn't do much. Okay. Okay, if I lose one more game, I probably take a break from normal chess. Oh no, my rating raising. Yeah, the bishop wasn't that useful. It was a good bishop. Most of my pawns were on dark squares, but it's restricted by black's pawns. Oops. Opponent aborts. Okay. I think I played this person earlier today. They were streaming and I I wasn't streaming. <laughs> um Okay. New opponent. I'll play e4. Let's play this line. F4, e5. Okay, so we have a kind of unusual line of the French. Play d4. If takes. In bishop d3, there's c4. Okay, I'll play bishop e3. So I have five bishop f2. Take with pawn. I'm just trying to get something playable. There's bishop h3 and castle. A queen b6 might be annoying. A queen a5 too. King f1. Okay, so the plan is to put the king on g2. Wow. Yeah, I need to do some damage control. I mean, takes bishop c5, knight d4. I think I have to try this. It's not pretty. It's really not pretty. King f3. Okay. Queen f2 is a threat. To be careful. Rook f1. Queen e2. Yeah, I mean, black could trade queens and be doing very well here. If 
Forgot my rook was hanging. <laughs> So I'm down, what, two pawns? Okay, that's a nice gift. Mm. Small issue though. And not the move I wanted to play. Some pressure. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. Honestly, I was not sure about my ability to convert this position with 14 seconds left. Because even pre-moves, they take away time on chess.com. But, uh, okay. I somehow survived there. Hey, thank you, Alyssa Zhu. Appreciate the raid. Shout out to Alyssa. Yeah, if you're just joining, I've been playing some chess. Mainly like messy blitz, blitz chess. Um, trying to break 2700. Kind of been bouncing around. So I guess we'll take a rematch. Oops. I was about to click rematch, but I guess I was too late. Okay. Let's go again. Oh, playing Pig Daddy. Okay. Pig Daddy hurt me earlier. Can I play a Stafford against Pig Daddy? Stafford Gambit time. Gotta do one Stafford for the stream. A C3 is the most common among like strong players. H3 also very playable. Thank you, Dirk G. Alexandra Happy six months. Alexandra or Alexandra de Kier 99, Alexandra de Kier 99. Amen. Nice emotes there. Okay, so this position is objectively like much better for white, but it's one of the nice things about the Stafford is usually white will be taking a lot of time early on. Does it look scary? Like castling, there's my G4 to worry about. Bishop e3, I can take. I think I can take on h3 now. Because if takes, I check, check, knight g4 is winning in the end. If knight f3, I play this, rook f2, knight g4. 
So White House would be like really, really careful. I have this now. Just making sure. I mean, I'm threatening the rook, the queen, and checkmate. Okay. I've taken down Pig Daddy with a Stafford Gambit. I've, I've reached 2,700. I think that's a good game to end on. Sorry, uh... Yeah, normally maybe I would take a rematch, but I think I'm done done with chess for now. Have to retire on top. Yeah, that was a nice uh nice quick win. I mean sometimes at this rating level it's hard to actually Watching win quickly. On my TV with my duck companion posted a picture on oh, the Discord. Hey. Have you tried playing against the Kingdom bots on Chesscom yet? I actually don't know what the Kingdom bots are. Also, welcome back to Emberg. How many people are watching on their TV? I think TV is a, an underrated device to watch chess content on. I know every month uh, Chess.com comes out with new bots. I haven't played against the bots in a while. I guess a year ago was Mittens. Should we do a quick poll? What are the potential devices? Phone, laptop, TV. Are there any other devices you can watch? Watch Twitch on? Like maybe a smart fridge? Or maybe a Tesla? Teslas can probably play Twitch. Let's just say other. Make some small research. Oh yeah, if you're watching on a TV, how do you respond to the poll then? <laughs> there might be more TV watchers than the poll indicates. Subway car projector, nice. Japanese toilet. Yeah, I, um, I had a layover in, in Japan recently. And the toilets there are like super, super high tech. Like they have the remote bidets with like so many buttons. It was slightly overwhelming, but it was also, uh, yeah, it was like luxury. Okay. Um, let's end the stream with some drawback chess. It's a fun variant because like every time I play it, it's something different. Okay. This should be fine. I'll join Q. Oh. This is new. Okay, I'll say anytime. Wait, what's my... Oh, they made some updates. They have match history. Here's my profile. Yeah, this is where you can set your preference. So I, I set it to hard drawbacks the other day, just for more of a challenge. Is this If, if this is your first time seeing drawback chess, um, I did post a YouTube video about this a few days ago. I've also been doing it on stream. Uh, so the way this works, I'll join the queue. I'll get matched against someone random. Ah, playing GM Fabi Marijuana. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nice username. And yeah, the way this works is both players start with a drawback. So this is my drawback. Obsession. Every turn, pick a random square. If... Oh, it's going to pick a random square. If you can move to the square, I must. Oh, so I'm at the mercy of the random generator. Well, I can't move to a7 because I have a pawn on a7. So, oh, this is going to be difficult. So I don't know what square is coming next. 
okay, thankfully I can't move to G2. So I think the strategy is to limit my legal moves. Like, I don't want to play D6 because then if H3 happens, that's bad. But oh, maybe H6. Hopefully my opponent isn't sniping. I mean, at some point I'm going to have to like move things. Thankfully the squares have not really affected me yet. Also, I thank you, James Black, gifting five. I appreciate that. So if white takes and then it's like a random square, like a six, and that's kind of bad. So there might be some element of luck here. Okay, D8 is highlighted. Well, that's good. Uh, let's take with Pawn. I'm really just trying to limit my number of like moves that will blunder pieces. I was really reluctant, but I mean, the chance that D4 or E5 happens, it's a 1 in... or 2 in 64, so 1 in 32. So yeah, I guess I can use like probability to my advantage, right? Like, 1 in 32, I, I shouldn't really worry about. G7. I mean, this will be 3. So it's 3 in 64 that I'm going to blunder a piece. Like, all the, all the squares on the 5th rank are fine, because my pawns can move there. Yeah, this is actually like very interesting from a mathematical perspective. Like, have to calculate expected value of different. I don't even know if expected value is the right term, but just probabilities of like blundering pieces. Uh oh, I have to be careful now. Wait, okay, a three is highlighted, so that's good. It'd be funny if my opponent has the same drawback. Endgame is going to be lit. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's still in the middle game. Yeah, so I don't want to play queen... I mean, queen c7? Maybe I will. Because the odds of c3 being highlighted... Again, it's 1 in 64. If c5 is highly late, at least I can play knight c5. I'm going to play bishop here. That way, like, there's no disaster of me blundering the queen. Yeah, I'm realizing, like, it would be very difficult for my opponent to actually snipe me. Because they also don't know what squares are coming. I'll just play g5. instinctively pre-moved there. Oh no! I can't... It's the first time I can move to a square. Oh, that's so bad. Maybe I shouldn't... should not have played bishop c6. Oh... Wait, what? Well, this is unfortunate. I have to play king f7. Oh. So they played knight f3. I don't understand. What, what, what was my opponent doing? Okay, b4. So I saved my queen. I'm really curious what my opponent's drawback is. G1, that's funny. Uh, I should really... 
hide my queen. So what are the odds of me losing the queen? B4, G3, H2. It's actually not that bad. 3 and 64. Oh, maybe 4 and 64. Yeah, let's just play rook c8. Rook f8. Okay, I have to play knight d5. That's not a bad move, though. Really not a bad move. Okay, h3 is highlighted, so that's fine. Um, I'll take with pawn, how about? I should really save the king, because I don't want white to be checking me. Okay, f6. So I have four options here. I might as well play knight f6. Although that allows... Let's play bishop f6. No. Don't want 95 or queen h7 to happen. So I'll play queen f6. Yeah, we're both getting low on time. Oh, I can hide drawback. Ah, so I don't get sniped. That's actually kind of useful. Okay, let's save the king. I have to play h5. I don't really want to take, but I might as well. Oh, C7. C3. <laughs> Gosh. Like some cases, I I only have one legal move. E3. This is so bad. Now I'm really suffering the consequences. Okay, D5. Well, that's... That's okay. Um, but now I'm down material. Let's play this. Try and win the pawn. Okay, I won on time. <laughs> oh, that was, that was rough. Wow. So we both had randomized drawbacks. My opponent's drawback was called colorblind. Can't move to squares of one color and it's randomized every move. So that probably explains why they couldn't take like my queen on certain moments. I just got really lucky. Oh, that's super tricky. So here's my drawback elo. 526. Okay, I'll do one more. One more game of drawback chess. It's like every time I play this, at least usually I, I get uh, different types of drawbacks. Let's go again. Abstinence. If your opponent ever has two non-pawn pieces of the same type adjacent to each other. Wait, what? Oh. That's kind of funny. Wow. Non, okay. Oh, this might end really quickly. So they have to be of the same type. So if they play like bishop e7, bishop d7, I just lose. But they don't, hopefully my opponent's not sniping because this would be a bad one if 
if my opponent knew my drawback. So I really have to like get rid of my opponent's non-pawn pieces. Oh, nice username, by the way. Oh, no, my queen. Wait, what? I'm so curious what their drawback is. I wonder if they're sniping, but don't fully understand my drawback. Okay, let's uh let's just develop. Yeah, I have to actively prevent my opponent from um achieving this. Like I can't allow the rooks to connect, basically. Hmm. Discouraging the epon from moving. Yeah, adjacent just means next to, so I guess like rooks doubled up could also be a loss for me. I wonder if they have like some retreating thing, like if they can only move like forward and then backward. We'll find out soon enough. I'm feeling good here. I don't think black is really close to having uh, adjacent pieces of the same type. I could have played bishop e5. I want to keep my bishop for attacking, though. Okay, now, I mean, do I want to take? There, there. Yeah, it probably makes sense to take. Let's go for the... Oh... I guess we'll find out if my opponent's sniping. Wait, what? What is that? It made a sound. What sound was that? Did I make an illegal move? No. There's some glitch there, I think. Okay. The funny thing is, if my opponent knew my drawback, they would just win next move. But hopefully that's not the case. I should probably play queen h6 first. And prevent castling. Okay, I definitely don't want to take. Even though the bishop would be pinned, uh, it's not worth a risk. Oh, but wait. Oh, that's super annoying, though.
Maybe I do want to take. Because it's more natural for the pawn to take. And then I can get rid of the bishop. Oops. I'm losing a queen. Okay, well, uh, maybe it's not so bad. Because I can take on d7, take... Mm. I'll take on d7. It's interesting, actually. Yeah, I was so paranoid about the bishop. Wait, okay, let's focus here. Because so I can take, the rook will take e7. Oh, no. I mean, I want to play e7, but then rook e8 will win. And rook e8 is probably the most likely move. So I guess I have to play rook. Maybe I'll play this first. And then rook d1. Okay. Okay, they don't, they don't have any duplicates of non-pawn pieces. I'm safe. I'm up a pawn in an ending. I can just play chess now. The only way I can lose with this drawback is if they promote to like another bishop and then I guess it would have to be a light sword bishop. Or if they promote to like two queens and something. But I survived the worst. Are we gonna see king c5, b4, king c4, knight b2 checkmates? No, we're not. Okay. Let me try and show some endgame technique here. There we go. Okay. Your opponent's drawback was gambler. Can't move a specific piece type. Ooh, randomized every move. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder how often that affected them. Oh, it affected them here. That's why they hung the bishop. Is that also why they hung the king? I was losing at this point, but... Yeah, I can't move the king. Oh, that's rough in certain situations. Oh yeah, why knight b8 on move 2? Oh, can't move pawn. That's funny. They can't they couldn't move their pawns for the first couple of moves. And like if knight f6, I'm just going to keep expanding. Wow. Yeah, I was so scared of like, um, like originally I wanted to play d6, but then there's a line takes, and if I take with rook, bishop, e7, would, would win for black. So it was really tricky. Anyway, um, I'm going to wrap things up. And in the meantime, we'll raid Grandmaster Daniel Naroditsky, send some good vibes. And. Will I be back tomorrow? I'll be back sometime in the future. So stay tuned.